Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Do you want to generate images like these with sinfully stylish candlelight vibes? Then in this video, I am going to show you how you can do that for free, locally, all private. Let's have a quick look as the quality of the images this model generates. Everything looks so stylish and the secret sauce here is not only the Flux1 dev model but also the low rank adaptation or LoRa which this person has trained on a very nifty data set. So we are going to generate it and then we are going to see how it looks like from our own text prompts. So let's get started. Before that, let me also give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. I am going to use this Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. If you are also looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link and a discount coupon in video's description. The tool which I am going to use for this purpose is called as Comfy UI. If you don't know what Comfy UI is and how to get it installed, just go to my channel and search with Comfy UI easiest. And I have done this tutorial which will make you hero from zero in no time. So I'm assuming that you already have Comfy UI installed on your local system and you are aware of basic concepts of Comfy UI. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I am going to use this best model for text to image generation Flux1 dev, and I have done heaps of videos on it already and i will be also using few other auxiliary models with it such as this v model which is variational auto encoder that converts images from latent space to pixel space latent space is where model is able to handle the images and pixel spaces where we can see it and then i will be using these couple of uh, text encoders which handle our text prompts and all of these are present in this flux one dev hugging face page which you can easily download if you get stuck either search my channel or paste it in the comment it is fairly easy i will also be telling you where to put all of these models finally we need to download this lora model from CVTI and I will also drop the link in video's description. Okay, now tell me where to place all the models. So first model is the original base model, which is Flux1 dev. Go to its hugging face page, scroll down, and then you see that there is this one file, which is Flux1 dev safe tensor of 23.8 gig. Right click on this downward arrow, save link as, and then it is going to take you where you have installed Comfy UI, models and unit folder. Just save it there i already have it then you need to download this ae you can also get it from the same hugging face of dev or chanel model in um, the black forest lab repository this is a variational auto encoder again you can right click on this download save link as wherever you have installed comfy ui go to models and then go to vae directory or v directory as we have as we call it and save it there it's a very small 335 meg file and then you would need two text encoders because that is what flux needs and these are the 21 clip l safe tensor and t5 double xl the t5 double xl one is a big one but both of them go to same directory save link as go to comfy ui models clip directory and then save both of them there i already have it and then you need to download the lora from cvti website which i will drop the link in video's description go to its page and then from there you see this downward arrow right click on it save link as wherever you have installed comfy ui comfy ui models loras and save it there so we are done and then once you are done you need to go to comfy ui wherever you have installed it this is my comfy ui where i have already got a workflow now don't worry about this workflow i'm going to give you this for free and you can download it uh, and you can find the link in video's description too now in this workflow if you look here all we are doing we have selected this our base model flux1 dev here and then in this dual clip one we have selected both of our clip models and these are the two models which you need to select and then if you just look below we have also selected our v model so these are the prerequisites which we have selected 
and if you look to the right you see that we have this LoRa where we have already selected sinfully stylish from that directory dot auto populates once you have downloaded them in the respective directories other notes basically specify your sampler scheduler settings if you don't know what they are search my channel or in a very very simple words sampler affects the quality speed and style of output image whereas scheduler controls how noise is gradually removed from the latent image because these are diffusion models and work in the latent and then pixel space so if you want to learn more about the latent space just go to my channel and search with latent and i have done a very easy to understand video on the same stuff so everything is ready our models are downloaded our lora is downloaded our comfy workflow is there all we need to do is to just give it a text prompt here i'll remove my previous prompt and then we need to run this so first time it is going to download it and i will also show you the vram consumption in real time once we run it now one thing here is that let me quickly introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenPod. iGenPod lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge pod across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support. And I will drop the link to their website in a video's description. So do check them out. Okay, let's go to Comfy UI and generate our first stylish image. Okay, for the prompt, I'm going to ask it to draw me a medium shot photograph at 1 a.m. showing a curvy 40-year-old 40, 40 woman with red hair and jade green eyes at an elegant cocktail bar that has hardwood floors and all that stuff. So it's a complete prompt just in the style of this Laura. And if you have watched my other videos, you know that all of these Laura require a trigger word so that the model will generate the image accordingly. So let me run this. And it is running at the moment and you can see that the node which is active and working like this sampler one at the moment it is turning green so let's wait for it should not take too long now and i will also show you the vram consumption here there you go so it is consuming around 30 over 33 gig of vram at the moment okay let's wait for it to generate image and there you go so it has generated the image as we asked it and look at the whole glow around it such a candle lit vibe here and you can of course generate the full face portrait one we can improve um, the image more by just playing around with some of the classifier guidance settings or seed or that sort of stuff you can even change the sampler and scheduler and you can check out in my this video where i have explained it in great detail uh, whereas how can you set up these things now let's uh, generate another one and then we will play around with few more prompts also i believe that this could be a real good uh, you know model to generate your for example if you're looking to generate your profile photos for dating apps like tinder and that sort of stuff this could be a good uh, avenue where you can generate an ai generated image Anyway, let's wait for this one to get created. And there you go. It looks quite good. If you match the text prompt with this one, looks awesome. It's such a good Laura. I really, really like it because it generates such a realistic photo. Okay, let's generate another one. And again, um, same setting, but under Rembrandt lighting, which is which seems a bit, I would say, retro. So let's see how it goes with it. And there you go, looks quite stylish and sinfully stylish. Okay, let's draw a male one so that you guys don't say that I only generate the images of women. So again, this one, I'm asking it to do a ruggedly handsome 30 year old man with short messy red hair and dark green eyes at a dive bar that has linoleum floors. So let's see, he is a little overweight and muscular. So it should be good. Let's wait for it. And there you, there you go, look at this one, really, really good stuff and it is saying subscribe to channel. This is all AI generated, look at the glow from this side, how realistic that looks. Okay, let's generate another one. Okay, here is another one, not bad, let's generate another one. 
and this one also looks quite good quite retro i would say and this one also looks right out of some movie good stuff and the model has generated something different again let's try out one final one and this is the final image and looks real good to me well look i'm quite happy with the model let me know what do you think i will drop the link to it in video description there are a lot of other uh, samples there which you can check out on models page really really good stuff here if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching